All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Chicago Bears' very unfortunate start to the regular season, 0-3, a, a very difficult loss for the Chicago Bears this past Sunday against Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, the Kansas City Chiefs. It just, it was extremely embarrassing, and I really hope that this lights a fire under their guys' ass, which already should have been done after an 0-2 start but you know Justin Fields hopped back on the mic earlier today and he was like I have faith I have faith look at the Detroit Lions of last season what they start one in six they finished the season nine and eight I believe the Jacksonville Jaguars had a very similar trajectory this happens every single season in the NFL a lot of people like to overreact I get it though the Bears situation on the field off the field the last 10 days or so it's been an absolute nightmare i hate making videos like this but to be honest with you i kind of agree with justin fields here he is way too talented and the chicago bears offense i i'm telling you man i don't know what it is right now nobody seems ready to play nobody seems invested and you're going up against an 0-3 denver team i i really hope and honestly the chicago bears need it they need the win here, and they need Justin Fields to play his ass off. This past week against Kansas City, 11-22, just 99 yards and a touchdown. The Chicago Bears have now lost 13 straight games. This season, they've been outscored 106-47. to They haven't made the playoffs in back-to-back -back seasons one time, just one time in the last 20-plus seasons. Their ownership is extremely old school. The coaching probably isn't the move. We got a lot to talk about in today's video, but before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. Bears fans, if we could try and get this video to 100 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. Now, I get it. It's unacceptable, and I, I fully understand how unacceptable it is. What I will just say is this. I'm going to give this team until Thanksgiving. I'm going to give the Chicago Bears until Thanksgiving. When I take a look at this Bears schedule, I think to myself, all right, no matter how ugly, no matter what needs to be done, if they can win this upcoming weekend against the Denver Broncos, there you go. Their upcoming slated schedule are, you know, some interesting teams. You got like Vegas there, you have the Chargers there, you have Washington in a couple of weeks. It's a more team friendly schedule. And I understand how embarrassing that loss to Kansas City was. But, you know, if we remember, if we just zoom out for just one quick second here, the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, right? The Chicago Bears were the worst team in football. So, no, it's not that shocking to me that the Kansas City Chiefs, the Super Bowl champions, just took down the team that had the number one pick in the draft before they traded away and won three football games, 41 to 10. Like, that's kind of, you know, on paper, in a computer simulation, whichever world that makes sense now when you watch it and you get into it there isn't many reasons to be excited and that's where a lot of chicago bears fans have themselves right now they don't have a culture and it's weird because the chicago bears my entire life being born and raised in the chicagoland suburbs going to school in the city of chicago going to plenty of chicago bears games their culture has always been defense and their defense right now blows and we knew that the defense was going to blow this season there are still a lot of intriguing enticing pieces and there are guys like new additions the two linebackers Edmonds and Edwards these guys are doing a good job I really like what I've seen from Jaquan Brisker I love what I've seen from Tyreek Stevenson there's still a lot of young talent on this defense but then we throw in the whole Allen Williams situation and it's like I mean I I, I, I don't even know what, what to say about it I don't even know what to say about it on paper, it makes absolutely, and I remember saying this, and a lot of people with a lot of Bears fans said this as well. I don't know why you would hire a defensive coach for an offensive player. And I think either way, and we talked about this all summer, the Chicago Bears are in a win-win situation, even though the the more likely win which means, you know, you win like three or four games and you have maybe the number one pick and the number two pick Carolina also is 0-3 right now. That's more of a long-term win. But the quarterback class is loaded. And that's why I, I just have to give this team at least two more games. 
If they're 0 and 6, I'll throw in the towel and I'll be just like, you know, tank it, blow it up. Because Eberflus, most likely, no matter how the Bears season goes, unless they finish above 500 or they, you know, end the season on a huge win streak, Eberflus is most likely gone. Getze is most likely gone. What I will say is this. You know, Justin Fields gets so much flack. He gets so much critique for not being a pocket passer. I, I look at the coaching and I, I look at Luke Getze and I, I just see so many similarities, you know, specifically in that second game for Justin Fields, where it's just like, it looks like they're trying to make him Aaron Rodgers when you're really, what you have is one of the best running back quarterbacks in the entire National Football League, if not the number one. You have a freak athlete. You have an absolute specimen of a dude that landed to your football team. And you go out there and you pick up guys like DJ Moore. You pick up guys like Chase Claypool. You still have Darnell Mooney. Darnell Mooney hasn't had a catch since week one. I mean, it's just lackluster. They're, these guys are not prepared. I, I, when I see this team, and it, it's weird because I cover the Houston Rockets, it reminds me of the Houston Rockets from a couple of seasons ago. And I know like Houston's been the worst team in NBA for like several seasons, so I know this isn't the best comparison. But when you have a coach who doesn't know what he's doing, the players aren't going to know what they're doing. The players don't know what they need to do. They know kind of what's being asked of them, but they don't really it, – it's flawed. This is a flawed scheme. They're trying to make Justin – Justin Fields into Aaron Rodgers when what he needs to do is lean into his instincts and that's why I like what I've been hearing from Justin Fields in the last two weeks specifically as he said even though the Bears you know you're outscored 106 to 47 it's terrible but it can be turned around I know it looks unlikely and it realistically is a little bit unlikely but it is possible it is possible and Justin Fields at the end of the day is QB1 and at the end of the day he is still the leader of the Chicago Bears and even though he's on three I like his mentality I like how he's been handling himself I like the words that's coming out of his mouth I like his body language I, I, I just think the Bears could bounce back because I really like this schedule I think you know for an Owen two Owen three teams so many people are going to want to watch this game because Denver, they're on three. The Chicago Bears are on three. These are teams that people didn't think they were going to start on three. I certainly didn't think either team was going to start on three. So I know things look bad. I, I know it looks bad. But as Ibar is saying, he thinks the Bears are close. What I've seen from the Bears is they're the furthest thing from close. You have to win. You have to win. Everybody knows this. You have to win. Things need to change. You need to keep the locker room. Right, And a win against Denver isn't going to fix everything. It doesn't solve everything. But it goes an extremely, extremely long way. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. I'm curious, Bears fans, NFL fans, what do you think? <laughs> what are you guys thinking about the Chicago Bears? Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next time.